So hey everyone and welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we're going to talk about top 7 JavaScript fundamental concepts which every developer must know. So JavaScript is crucial part of web development and understanding its key concepts is vital for every developer. So in this video, we walk through 7 fundamental JavaScript concepts with easy to understand examples so that any beginner can grasp easily. So the first concept is scope. Scope defines where variable and functions are accessible within your code. Think of it as a range where you can use it. So here is an example in this code, x can be accessed within the function scope example. If you try to access it outside, you will get an error. Number two, IIFE, immediately invoked function expression. So this word might sound complex, but it's essentially a function that runs as soon as it's defined. So it's useful for creating a private space for variables. So let's see it with the help of this example. So here you can see that X is scoped inside IIFE and uh, can't be accessed from outside. So helping us to keep our code tidy and avoiding the conflicts. And the third concept is hoisting. So hoisting is JavaScript's behavior of moving variable and function declarations to the top of their containing scope during compilation. So let's illustrate to the help of this example. So here you can see that even though we are trying to uh, log Z before the declaration, but JavaScript moves the declaration to the top, giving us undefined instead of the error. The fourth concept is closures. So closures allow functions to remember the variables from the scope and when they were created. Even if that scope has finished executing, this might sound abstract, but it's easier with an example. So in this example, you can see that inner function still has access to the message variable from outer function, even after outer function has finished executing. Number five, callbacks. So callbacks are functions passed as arguments to the other functions to be executed later. So let's see how it works. So here you can see that say goodbye is a callback function passed to the treat, which gets executed after reading ls. Number six, promises. So promises represent the result of an asynchronous function. They are used to handle asynchronous operations. So here is the basic example. Here, my promise resolves after two seconds and then, and then the dot then method is used to handle the result value. Number seven, async and await. So async functions and await keyword provide a simpler syntax for writing asynchronous code. So let's simplify things with the help of this example. Here you can see that in async call, await makes JavaScript wait until resolve after two seconds completes before moving to the next time. So this is like you can wait for a few seconds until a process is completed. So it helps in a big task to be completed. Then after that, some other tasks created to that big task would be finished. So in conclusion, mastering these seven JavaScript concepts lays a strong foundation of your coding journey. So understanding these basic concepts is very helpful and will make learning more advanced topics easier and help you write cleaner and more efficient code. So remember, everyone starts as a beginner and with practice and patience, you will become a proficient JavaScript developer. So I hope you understood this video. I will see you in the next one. If you have such more topics to cover, you can mention in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe Geeks for Geeks on YouTube. And you can check out our website and social media handles. All links are mentioned in the description. So till then, save a good day. Bye-bye.